Hey, everybody. Jeffrey Bieber here, Senior Investment Strategist over at EWOTrader.com. Coming to you this week with some more pro trader tips. You know, last week we talked about stocks that would go sideways. Well, this week I wanted to address uh, that same trend. And just to show you what you can do when you get in a rhythm of just identifying these stocks and they're just not going anywhere and how you can generate double digit returns uh, with the stock just going sideways. So here we have Expedia Group, EXPE, and you're looking at the chart that is, hey, every well, as of today. And believe it or not, with a market that's down pretty heavily today, uh, the stock really hasn't moved very much. But what I want to draw your attention to is that gap back here. This gap right here, this where I put this vertical line, is uh, an earnings event that occurred. Uh, the stock gap down pretty large. And then what, do, what did it do or what do stocks tend to do is they will then drift sideways. It's almost like getting bonked on the head, getting um, a little thrown off balance, and you're just kind of hey, oh, right. going back and forth of, of uh, I'm not thinking clearly. And that's what the stock is doing. Now, if you identify this early, which we did, we can then do a sideways strategy or a strategy that takes advantage of this sideways motion. And one popular strategy is with a calendar spread. All right. So let's take a look at what we did and sent out to our subscribers after we identified this stock that we thought we might be trading sideways for a while. So as we jump over, we're looking at hey, uh, we are looking at trade ID. Uh, 1052. Uh, this is uh, Expedia. All right. And we sent out this trade alert on March 19th. All right. So let's uh, go back to uh, the um, calendar here or the chart here. And that was right. Hey, um, let, let me get an arrow going here. So we come into March and we identified this right here. Okay. So right right hey, here and let me flip this around here all right so we are identifying this right here um and you can um see that the stock had been trading sideways for a little while so what we are going to do then is do that counter spread so hey uh, what you do is that you choose the strike uh, approximately where you think the stock might end up if the stock continues to chop around sideways. So what we did was we chose that 135 and puts. You could do the 135 calls. We chose the 135 puts and we bought a uh, uh, we bought the 135s out in time and then sold a nearer term option to help pay for that longer term put. And the idea is then to let that spread what we call widen and that is where we generate our profits. So on March 19th, we sent the uh, trade out. Uh, we bought that uh, uh, April 19th expiration 135 put. We sold the April 5th put. All right. And this is what it looks like when you model that trade. All right. Hey, we did this and got 75 cents per spread. So think about that. $75. That is considered very inexpensive uh, hey, uh, for a trade. And we're looking for this to go sideways. So these light blue lines that are horizontal here represent our break-evens. The black line is kind of where we're focused. Uh, the colored lines, the red, the blue, the green, those deal with time. Okay, and where we would be in the position, uh, one-third to the time to expiration, two-thirds to time to expiration, and then at expiration. And so, as I mentioned, we were just looking for this stock to go sideways. Now, we did four contracts that made our debit $300 with the potential to make over $800 in the trade. Okay, risk three, make eight. Hey, I'll do that on a regular basis. That's a 277% potential return. So as the stock started to move around, we decided to go ahead and take profits off. On March 27th, we were in the trade for eight days. Okay. And you can see the stock continued to bounce around, but it showed a little bit of volatility moving a little higher, beginning to test our upper break even a little bit. So we decided to go ahead and take profits there. We had 
$180 worth of profits. That's a 55% rate of return. Now, yes, that was nowhere near our 200% of potential return, but realize to get that, you have to be right at your strike uh, to get that return. And that was the 135, right? And the stock was trading at 137.88. So it was $2.88 above where we needed to be when we took this trade off. So in the end, we decided to go ahead and take profits there. The profits were um, $164 um, that we netted in the trade uh, with our subscribers. That is a 50% uh, return on investment in just eight days. So that is tremendous rate of return on risk in just eight days, essentially one week on a stock that went absolutely nowhere. You combine that with the trade that we did last week, which was Alibaba, and you start doing these over and over right in a row, and you can generate an enormous rate of return on your portfolio. So that's your pro trader tip for today, a calendar spread on a sideways trade. Everyone hey, have a great trading week. We'll talk to you again soon. Take care.